my name is Stephen Davies and I'm the Knob by the Hob. Hi darlings, just wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas. I'll be cooking some stuff a little bit later. We talked earlier about the fact that you've had a few health issues, events lately, yeah. and how it might affect the cooking moving forward. Yeah, it's funny, since I, I think since I've got into my, I'm 58 next month, I think the last couple of years have been like sniper's alley with one thing and another. But more recent things is I've been having allergic reactions to things. Um, I don't know, some people did notice on some of the videos I did, my eyes were swollen, my skin was, I looked tanned when I actually wasn't tanned. My histamine levels were quite high. I'd been to the doctors, loads of tests, really it's boiled down to the fact that I've got some uh, certain allergies and I have some, I, my gut health isn't as good as it should be. I'm intolerant to gluten, dairy, and I need to reduce the amount of sugar that's in my diet, which obviously is alcohol. <laughs> so the last month I've been on a particularly stricter diet, lost a little bit of weight, and I've not been drinking. Things have got back to normal again, um, but obviously going forward, if I want to maintain sort of a, you know, a bit of a healthier lifestyle, then I'm gonna to have to look at what I'm eating and uh, drinking less. So that will be reflected in the cooking that I'm doing. I've already started doing some of the stuff in my day to day, some stuff I find quite easy uh, to do. I'm not a big cheese eater anyway, and uh, so the dairy thing, I'm not, it's not too bad. It's more when you go out, they ask you these days, don't you, are you allergic to anything? Well, I've got quite a list now. Actually, I'm gonna be using one of them today, which was oranges and milk chocolate. Do And also I've looked at quite a lot of alternative stuff. One or two things I'll use today as well, which are actually quite good. Um, I found, particularly found a, a, a bread, a gluten-free bread that's actually really good from Waitrose. So onwards and upwards, Anybody that's watched the videos and know me will think, well, it's not surprising if guts are not because <laughs> I have quite a, I like my food, I like rich food. Moderation was never something that was in my vocabulary with anything in my life, as you can see by my Christmas tree. As Beth Davis said, old age is no place for sissies. Sixties approaching rapidly, so I want to be uh, in good shape for the next, the final third of my life. <laughs> Yeah, I'll point out certain things that I've tried and I, I like or certain, you know, things that, you know, because as I said, I've, I'm lucky enough to be able to go and see specialists. I'm actually going to start doing Zoe. I don't know if, a lot about it at the moment, apart from it's being recommended. It's like a little thing like di the diabetics where on your, um, and it takes bloods and it, it, it ascertains, uh, you know, what, uh, about your gut health and about your diet and various different things. I'm starting that in January. And I've subscribed to that for a year. So that I think I'll reflect that going forward in, in the food that I'm making. But uh, as you can see, I feel like Val Dunigan next to my Christmas tree. I look forward to cooking for you in a moment. Mm -hmm.